Oh, Richard, for such a big honey pit, what kind of occasion? Well, are you surmising? <coughs> Richard is the expert on this. <laughs> what, what sort of occasion would prompt a hungy pit of this size? Um, all I know, uh, at the, the carrot time, generally if we're having a, um, um, a tangy hunger, uh, normally there's about 200, 250 people, that's why we had to build the facility like we did at Grove Down. Um, I think quite often the, um, the uh, the demonstration of um, generosity doesn't always, it's to excess. Uh, so sometimes um, it's like we do with the Sunday roast. In my day we were eating it as shepherd's pie by Thursday and it was starting to get a bit gritty. Um, the, I, I'm sort of, uh, I grew up in a time when um, we were told that there were these people just washed up on the beach and eked out a miserable living. Um, Richard and his team told us that in order for us to be 100,000 people uh, by the time Cook arrived, uh, there had to be 2,000 women arrive here as a settlement uh, population. And at the risk of offending my cousins over here, that must have been a hell of a trip. <laughs> what are we eating today? Oh, I don't know, we've got some fish. Oh, well, look, we had fish yesterday. Can you go another way? Uh, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> he said quickly, covering. To have six of these going all the time, what to say means that there's quite a lot of traffic. So uh, Cousin Judas some years ago called this the Rangitani Vatican City. And uh, I know that uh, uh, it certainly sit, we've always viewed it like that. My great grandfather was of a generation who said it's just not burials, it's a whole settlement. So I'm really pleased that uh, Richard and his team and some of you with your papers are supporting that that traditional view that it wasn't just we all came on here there was some people being buried we had a feed and we disappeared somewhere else that's about uh, as close as I'm prepared to talk about it uh, with all you experts other than to say what I believe is the rituals that we currently practice all around this country uh, they, they started to happen here you come to a new land like you saw this morning uh, there's all that there and you've got to have some bloody order and this is one of the ways of keeping everyone focused in one area, Manaki Tanga or generosity. Mm. How's that? Well, I think probably uh, you better have a look what they threw in there. Yeah. Hey, uh, okay, well we're probably getting another te team coming down, so maybe what you could do now is go down to the beach and walk along the beach and you'll see in section, you'll see the, um, the stratigraphy of the site in section there, there's also artifacts on the beach, so hands in pockets. 